Farmers in WA are particularly anxious over Aboriginal heritage laws. Um, you were over there, I think, last week or the week before. Is there any chance in, in winding this back? And how do you see this, um, you know, conflicting with the, the voice argument at the moment? Well, this has created a lot of anxiety and fear when anywhere from 1,100 square metres, which is effectively a residential block in the outer suburbs of Perth, mm. right through to agricultural land, if you dig a hole a deeper than 50 centimetres or you lift more than 20 kilograms of dirt in desilting a dam, uh, which won't go far, you have to have a, a cultural survey, $120 to $160 an hour, $1,200 mm. a day, and in a dispersed state, that's a big cost. And what, the, what uh, Tanya Plebersek has is an options paper that uh, will go into the, the realm of this and we need to know the reach and she needs to rule out that Western Australia won't be the benchmark that will be rolled across this country and within yeah. the options paper it gives a, a new Indigenous body, another Indigenous body, the power to prevent a development or to have it redesigned. Now, that is yeah. uh, significant in terms of its reach and its power. But, it's, and I think but Parliament still has would control, be, right? What would be... Or the state? Sorry, you just cut out. A parliament or the states would still have control over that? Well, the states will have their own individual uh, cultural heritage act, as mm. Western but, Australia But that's got has, nothing to do with the voice, place, right? But, no, well, I'm not saying it has. What I'm okay. saying is uh, that this, this, in fact, uh, is an overreach. And then if you were going to ha overlay that with a federal, a federal cultural heritage policy... Mm. Uh, where how far reaching that is and I think the fact that Tanya Plebersek isn't prepared to demonstrate and show uh, what uh, far reaching impacts this will have or won't then that creates anxiety and I think the, the fear and anxiety that's out there from the pastoral industry in Western Australia is 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 fairly founded and mm. it's important that governments rule this out so that these issues can give confidence and they give certainty investment certainty and confidence just because a big mining company did the wrong thing doesn't mean every Australian uh, will undertake the abhorrent behaviour that they did. Uh, so we, no. shouldn't, we shouldn't actually overreach. And, in fact, all this is doing, in, in, particularly in Western Australia, is dividing many of the pastoralists with Indigenous Australians who have a very close working relationship, working hand-in-hand hand for years and generations in protecting their cultural heritage. And now um, this is, has done nothing to but divide our community in Western Australia. When you're on the ground in Katanning and farmers don't normally protest, 600 of them turn up very angry about the imposition on their ability to do a lawful act, which is produce your food and fibre, that's a real concern that I think every Australian should have. And this is where we need certainty and leadership. Leadership of government and our yeah, of government absolutely. should give certainty that national policy won't be that far-reaching. Yeah, look, absolutely. And I think d doing uh, damage to the voice uh, campaign, the yes uh, campaign in WA as well, because these two issues are, are being conflated.